hello dear students in this lecture we will discuss morgan's two factor cross so morgan's experiment uh, was carried out in fruit fly drosophila melanogaster and th morgan and his collaborators claimed that coupling and repulsion are two aspects of the same phenomenon called linkage so we have discussed uh, coupling and repulsion in previous lectures of this series please refer to that so in in the experiment which was conducted by morgan uh, he took drosophila as experimental material and in drosophila uh, gray body is dominant over black body and long wing is dominant over vestigial wing so the alleles for these two characters are uh, capital B for gray body small b for black body capital B for normal wing and small b for vestigial wing so Morgan crossed a fly having gray body and vestigial wing with another fly having black body and long wing so here you can see the cross where uh, you see that uh, the male is having gray body and vestigial wing and the female is having uh, your black body with normal wing that is your long wing so when they uh, this cross when they crossed these two fly they observed that in f1 all the offsprings had gray body and long wings uh, so when this f1 male hybrids they were test crossed to double recessive female having black body and vestigial wings so here you can see in the pro uh, cross that the male is uh, black has black body and vestigial wings so when the test cross was uh, done with the homozygous recessive parent having your both the recessive alleles they expected progenies to be in the ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 but they obtained only two kinds of offsprings which were of parental types so you can see here that the two types of progenies were uh, similar to the parental combinations and these were gray with vestigial wings and black body with uh, long wings so this was 50 percent of one parent and 50 percent of the other parent and there were no new combinations so you can see this in figure 7.2 so if from this dihybrid experiment morgan expected he was expecting four combinations of the character studies and two parental combinations and two new combinations if but in this cross uh, contrary to his expectation only two parental combinations were obtained in equal proportions and this showed that the two pair of genes did not assort independently during the formation of gametes and this led Morgan to conclude that these two genes are situated on the same chromosome so they are inherited together so in other words these two genes are linked so this physical association of non-allelic genes on the same chromosome is called linkage and from uh, uh, here this uh, experiment now from this cross you can see that uh, the, the 
male offspring is heterozygous and this heterozygous offspring we know that in a test cross when we cross a heterozygous with a homozygous recessive parent and if normal crossing over takes place then it leads to formation of two parental gamete uh, type of combinations and two recessive but in this because only the parental combinations were obtained so this led to the conclusion that probably something uh, the mendelian laws are not followed and uh, linkage is happening it means that the uh, this two genes are uh, trying to be inherited together and they are not uh, independently assorted so this term is called linkage and here this conclusion was uh, derived by Morgan at all. So from this one can assume that a particular chromosome of an organism may have more than one gene and all the genes on a single chromosome are linked as a unit. So this is called linkage group and this number of linkage group in an organism will be equal to the number of pair of chromosomes. For example, in Drosophila, because there are four linkage group, uh, uh, because in Drosophila there are eight chromosomes, so there will be four linkage groups. And since maize has 20 chromosomes, so it will have 10 linkage groups because the, all the genes present on one chromosome will be one linkage group. So, uh, the chromosome theory of linkage was proposed by Morgan and the essence of this theory is that all the genes in a chromosome form one linkage group. The genes in the chromosome are arranged in a linear fashion and the degree of the linkage between two genes is inversely proportional to the distance between them. It means that less is the distance, more is the linkage and more is the distance between genes, lesser is the probability of the linkage. So this chromosome theory of linkage was, which was proposed by Morgan, this was given once he did these two factor crosses using uh, black vestigial black body and vestigial wings. Now as we have already discussed what is crossing over? Crossing over is uh, when crossing over happens the recombinations of uh, genes re results. So all the genes in a chromosome are linked to form a linkage group when chromosome when crossing over does not happen and it is expected that genes of a linkage group should always be in inherited as a inseparable unit when this happens it is called complete linkage but it is very rare and it is common in male drosophila so when there is complete linkage uh, only the parental combinations appear as we have just discussed in F2 during the test cross in figure 7.2 which in the cross which we have just discussed. Now sometimes or very often breaks occur in linkage and new combinations of characters are obtained during crosses. So when this happens this kind of linkage is called incomplete linkage and Morgan did elaborate this work on Drosophila and concluded that failure of linkage and formation of new combination of characters is due to crossing over which is a cytological phenomenon. So crossing over is defined as exchange of gene segments of chromosome between non-sister chromatids of homologous chromosomes at four stranded stage of meiosis. So now let us discuss what Morgan 
uh, observed during crossing over. So T. H. Morgan uh, crossed a variety of Drosophila having grey body and vestigial wings with another variety having black body and normal wings. Now we have discussed this cross and this is the same cross. Now the gene for grey body is represented by capital B and it is dominant over the allele for black body which is represented with small b. So the gene for normal wings is represented with capital B which is dominant over its allele for vestigial wings which is small b. So the flies of the F1 which were obtained after this cross they were all grey bodied and normal wings and we have discussed this why because they were a heterozygous they were heterozygous for and so the capital B and small b capital V and small b this was their combination so when these f1 females were test crossed uh, to a black vestigial male four kinds of offsprings were obtained so here in this cross what is happening that the female obtained from this cross which was heterozygous for both the alleles when it was test crossed with the male which was homozygous recessive for both the alleles Morgan obtained four kinds of progenies and out of these four kind of progenies two were parental type and two were recombinant so the parental type of progenies were gray vestigial and black normal and the new combinations were gray normal and black vestigial so the new combinations were non-parental and this was possible only if crossing over happens between uh, chromosomes so here in this cross you can see that crossing over is happening and it is resulting in the new combination of genes which is capital B and capital V resulting in the formation of gray uh, gray body with normal wings and small b with small b having black body and vestigial wings so the f1 female produced four types of gametes and this is the reason for the above result so if independent assortment took place during the formation of gametes all the offsprings of the test cross would be in equal proportions uh, now since the pa parental combinations are more in number here you can see in the cross that the recombinants uh, which Morgan got was only 17 percent so uh, it was certain that these genes are linked and the reason for production of very small amount of uh, recombinations is because of crossing over so we say that this is a two factor cross because only two genes are involved and these were the two crosses performed by Morgan with respect to uh, grey body and vestige wings. So in this experiment uh, when F1 male was test crossed to a, uh, to a female black vestigial only parental combinations appeared in equal proportion and the new combinations did not arise so this is due to the absence of crossing over during the formation of gametes in male and this was discovered by bridges and darlington and studies of females of silkworm moth bombex morai also showed crossing over is absent in them so these were the experiments which were performed by Morgan and this, these two are very simple experiments. I hope this is clear to you. So uh, please refer books to understand, understand these topics and thank you students. Let us meet in next lecture.